Hello everyone. So this is a greeting from Cambodia. So we always using this one. Yeah, this one. But we have a different signs. Like this is uh, the Shumripsu is for like the person we we have the age similar. Yeah, like your guys, uh, you have the age similar. I can use this. And then we put like this for the older persons. Yeah, like oldest uh, oldest person, we can. Uh, you we need to do this. Yeah, put your fingers uh, almost in the mouth, <laughs> like. And then for the monks or for the board, be more on the bathroom, more like this. Yeah, thank you. So this is a sign for greeting in Cambodia. So thank you. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about one thing or one history of Cambodia related to dancing. So my topic is about the magic of Khmer classical dance. Yeah. So Cambodia, we can call it Khmer, 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 Khmer. Yeah, it's mean like prosperity or something uh, that worthy in Cambodia, Khmer. Yeah. Khmer. Thank you. So, <clears throat> so the magical classical dance, the resources that I got it from uh, the artist called um, Brung Sotun Auk. So he is my favorite act artist of dancing classical. So I think some of you guys, if you watch TED Talk, you're gonna heard about the whole story. <laughs> so, and his uh, message, I think it's very important to share the world about the Khmer classic dancing. That's why I pick up his resources to share with all of you guys. And yeah, he is a Khmer and American, and um, he is a teacher, first male student in traditional um, understood by many as female and he founded Cambodia first gay dance company. So the dancing, mostly we recognize that male and female, but he's founded uh, the um, confidence to show that gay can, can dance too. Yeah. Yeah, so I started with, it's more historical. So you guys, uh, it's not really chill, something like uh, the whole story. So Robam Kabaj Boran, it means Khmer. So Robam Kabaj Boran is the art of Khmer classical dance. It's more than thousand years old. It was developed a prayer um, in movement for rain and fertility. And the prosperity that's mean for an agricultural society. Dancers uh, who were both men and women were afford the temple where they serve and living bright between heaven and earth. Their dancing body carry on of the people up of the people up to the gods. And the will of that titi was delivered back through them to the people on the land. So first I want you to know that there's a lot of curve in my dancing. For example, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you in uh, one thing. Um, our back are arch, yeah, something like that, and then our knee are bone, and and our our toe are uh, curved, and our finger hyperflex from our elbow. Sorry, our elbow hyperflex, and our um, finger are curved backward. So this curve together, yes, oh, and, yeah. and this curve together, so it means that a simple impression, something like that. Uh, yes, this is one part of the curve in my classical dancing, and this is important because before the introduction of major religions, Khmer's and people all over the world practiced the animism. And yeah, as you can see that the Khmer, the Khmer classical dance is a transformation of the nature of both the physical world around the world and uh, also of our own internal universe. So we have four primary hand gestures uh, that we use. So can we do together? Yeah. Okay. This is a, this is a tree, yeah. The tree be growing up, it will have a leaf. When it have a leaf, it will have a flower. Yes, when it have a flower, it will have the fruit. 
Yeah, when it have a fruit, it will have the uh, when it have a fruit, it will drop down, and it it growing uh, up again. Oh. Oh. So, so it's mean the whole our cycle of life too. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, it's mean like this and this and this and this. So it's the cycle of life, like we burn and then die. Yeah. And I want you to see one thing uh, is that full language of this gesture is also shown in the body language as well, like what it means in our life. I think, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. So for example, I can say, I. Um, okay. So this four gestures are then used to create the whole entire language with which dancer express themselves. So his art, this artist, um, Brum Sodun Ao, he will explain you how he can use the uh, language in dancing expression. Okay. Which dancers express ourselves? So for example, I can say, I, I. In dance, that would be, I. Oh. Or I can say, hey you, come here, come here, and dance. Yeah. yeah. Come here, or go, go. Go. And everything from love, to sadness, to anger, can be expressed through the dance as well. Yeah, this is really important. When you guys see the whole of dancing, you will be noted, but it's some sort of expression. And this is one of the dancings, classical dancings. I think it's good to uh, know about this. It is the root means magic, magic. You know magic, right? Yes. Yeah. Salapa yeah. means magic. I am very proud to say that I'm the next generation to long line of this magician because we have a lot of the enriched cultures and the meaning of the dancing. The sad our and our cherished heritage was one almost complete destroyed. You guys see that it's beautiful, but it's also uh, we got we have a big problem that our culture will destroy it um, by the Khmer Rouge. Yeah, some of people know Cambodia related to Khmer Rouge because um, 
there's a lot of people were killed. In almost uh, four years, there's a lot of people were killed in Cambodia. So if you, were, if you, if you are wearing the glass, please stand up. Awesome. Yeah, I ask asking you guys, please stand up. Oh. Okay. If you have light skin, glasses. Light skin, yes, glasses. If you have a light skin, please stand up. Yeah. If you speak more than one language, please stand up. Yeah, thank you. Your glasses means that you could afford health care. Your light skin means you didn't have to work beneath the sun. That second or third language you spoke indicated your athlete education. Thank you. But under the Khmer Rouge, when we have all of these three things, we're going to die. Yeah. So thank you. I want, I want to show here that we will die with these three things. It's the main, because they kill us. So under the Khmer Rouge, who took, who took over Cambodia from 1975 to 1979, we would all be dead now. To get it by our assumed privilege. People losing their life from diseases, overwork, executions, and starvation. So, yeah, we, some of kids and some of uh, kids, yeah, like some of kids, they need to hard working related to agriculture, but it's very dangerous, dangerous history that we don't want to go back because they kill all the um, education, kill all the history, kill all the kids, and um, they make the kids hate their family to fight back their family. But lucky, lucky Libya survived until today to represent Cambodia. So the result of this uh, is that an entire third Cambodian population were lost in less than four years. And in that number, there are 90% of Khmer dance artists too. So Khmer dance artists were killed by Khmer Rouge as well. So we remain 10% of Khmer dance and we have some historical um, until now and dancings now to show you that this is a wonderful of dancing we have for Cambodia. So in other words, nine of 10 visions are the traditional, uh, traditions and future values as well. Yeah, but we have 1%, like I show you, we have 1% and, but 1% does not mean less, it's, it really bosses for Cambodia. You guys, if you have some time to travel to Cambodia, you can see the Khmer classical dance and in the, on the temple as well. Like on the temple, we have the uh, characteristic on the temple. Okay, so um, I will move to the slide. Um, in oh, the next behind the other window. Mm, wait, eat this one. To my right. What what you said? Spoiler. Spoiler. The Indonesian oh, okay. slide. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Go. I hope okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. But I think, ah, yeah, it's all also almost last. Yeah, this is a Khmer Rouge, something we wearing the flag, and it's something a wear, but a wear is in Cambodia, like Khmer kill Khmer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the spoil of them, uh, the spoil of uh, leading the Cambodia, so they have a bad characteristic as well. Yeah, anyway, you know this. Um, and all, some of culture is similar to Thailand and Lao, so that's why I don't want to present the culture because you can see Lao and, and Thailand is similar. The thing I want you to know is about we have something special related to my uh, dancing. So that is all about my presentations and what you get from my sharing. You're gonna understand about Cambodia is an enriching culture is, and the magical, the magic classical dancings. But we had a worse time because we lost our heritage and dancing during the Khmer Rouge. But we are happy to show you what we have until now. Thank you. Subscribe ke bern.id dan jangan lupa untuk mengunduh Pranala App. Untuk video terbaru, kamu bisa klik video di kanan atas.
Dan untuk video rekomendasi bisa klik video di kanan bawah. Terima kasih.